Yo, hello everyone. Are you concerned about data privacy and compliance? In this tutorial, I will show you how to add a consent form to your Quartrex survey. From creating a consent message to adding checkboxes and required fields, you will learn how to ensure participants provide informed consent before proceeding with the survey. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, as you can see, now, I'm, now I am on my dashboard. So the next thing to do is simply go ahead and create a project. Then we have to choose survey. And from here, I will click on get started. From here, I will choose consent. And I will click on create project. I will keep it as blank as it is. Now, what I'm going to do is simply click here and click on this box. This what it do is simply it creates us a new question. So now we're not going to do this like so. We're actually going to create a whole new block for the constant. So click here to add a block and let's move it above this one. Now we have block one. Here, make sure to rename it to constant. Here we go, as you can see. So here it is, been changed. Now let's keep it that way. And what now? What should we do? Simply click on add a new question from here. Click on add and it will be multiple choices. Now let's leave it as it is for now. I'm not going to do any choices. And let's go to the number of choices here and let's start adjusting the settings. So first we will only allow one answer. We will only have two choices and we can here, response requirement, add requirements. So false response. It's not a request to response, but it is forced to be responsed. And now after we're done with that, all you have to do is simply change this to agreement. And the next thing is simply you can just drag a text from ChatGPT as an example. So give me a contract or consent for a football survey here it is so title thank you for participating in our survey etc etc and yeah so these are some questions that they have to fill so these are like the top questions but let's copy only this and let's paste it for example over here so now let's get started before let's get started if you agree for us to use your personal answers in our statistic, make sure to answer this box below you. So here, what I did is simply I give them, like, just an example, if you would like us to use your personal affirmations to uh, from this the question that you are going to answer in here uh, in our statistic please let us know by checking the boxes below so here i'm going to change this so i agree and here i don't agree so that's all we need so here you can go even more and like let me just fix this real quick so here you can even uh, get rich content editor and set graphic include form analysis and set pipe text uh, like add display logic assign to a group move up move down this is all the things that you can do in order to actually have it work well so here we have like this question has response requirements so people will actually have to answer this question before getting to the next question let me get a preview of this here it is, and now just wait until it opens, and here we go. Now let me just remove this real quick, um, remove choice, so now we have only two choices, and here we go. So now we have to pick I agree or I don't agree. If I click here, as you can see, please answer this question. We can't really go, really go to the next question without answering it. So here I agree. And here we go, now we are on these questions. Of course, you can even like <coughs> make a logic display. So in case, for example, here, I'm gonna click, 
display logic so if the answer was for example this one and select choice i agree then you will take them to another display so it's selected and here we go question in the data okay etc agreement uh, display this question only if the following condition is met so here we go select choices choice one for example is selected not selected so here you can actually make a f like kind of a logic so display the question so this question if this I agree is selected so click on save so here we go I'm going to for example to click on it and let me just do the same thing here display logic question here agreement and i agree is selected i will remove this from here sorry my bad i did uh here we go so now what will happen is this question which is question one is only going to be able to reveal itself once i agree has been selected let's try this out let's go back to the main page i guess Okay, so now if I click here, the same thing, they won't let us to pass. So I will click on I don't agree. What will happen? We thank you for your time spent talking, taking the survey. Responses has been recorded. So it took us directly to the last question. But now if I refreshed and I have chosen the question, uh, which is the answer, which is I agree. Look what will happen. They took me to the first question. This is really important to know in case you'd like to make kind of this kind of content in your surveys. And as you saw guys, it is really easy. It's just some logic that you have to use. So in case they answered this one, it will take them to this question. In case they didn't answer and agree about this, this just have to really leave my survey. So I'm going to take them to another page. For example, here I can take them to other blog. And I'm going to add here a text. Thank you. And see you later. I'm going to remove this. And now what I'm going to do is simply add display logic. So here I'm going to choose agreement. And I don't agree. It's selected. Then click on save. Now let's see what will happen. Refresh. And I'm going to click now on I don't agree. They will take us to thank you, see you later, I think. Yeah, thank you and see you later. So let's see, here we go. So here it is. Thank you and see you later. So it is really good to know how to use this display logic correctly in your surveys. It will help you a lot skipping answers, skipping questions, depending on the answer of the survey taker. And yeah, guys, that was completely it about this video. I hope you learned something and see you guys. In